strengthening transatlantic engagement with a turbulent region. It's an ambitious tagline for the Atlantic Council's 8th Istanbul summit. The think tank has brought together around 500 political, business and security leaders to find ways to navigate tricky regional geopolitical waters. Energy has been high on the agenda on the summit's first day. Turkey's recently resurrected Turkish stream pipeline project has attracted particular attention, with the potential to carry 63 billion cubic meters of Russian gas to Europe. You have Russia, you have the Caspian countries, Iran and the Gulf countries uh, there, and they uh, account about 70 percent of the global oil and gas reserves. So from that angle, uh, Turkey has a, a very advantageous position to transport that uh, oil and gas to established markets such as the European markets and also a new emerging markets such as the ones in uh, Asia. Development in Africa was also on the agenda on Thursday. Rwanda went through war and genocide in the 1990s, but strong economic growth in recent years means that it's now seen as a good example to the Central and East Africa region. Rwanda is, uh, as of now, the best global reformer. One of the best global reformers who have reformed our climate investment for uh, climate for investment. We have created different incentives for the new companies coming to invest in Rwanda. So we look forward to have more investment, whether they are from Turkey and from the broader region, the broader globe. Rwanda is the best destination to go to. It's a world away from the surroundings here in Istanbul, but the focus on Friday is set to shift to the war in Syria as well as Turkey's role in the region. And who better to hear from than the Turkish president Recep Tayyip Erdogan, expected to be on the main stage as the keynote speaker. Abu Bakr Shamahi, TRT World, Istanbul.